Safety advocates in New Jersey hope a bill signed over the weekend will make school buses safer in the long run. But what changes can parents expect this year? Cleve Bryan joins us live with some answers to that question. Cleve. Well, definitely a step forward with bus safety as the governor signs the new seatbelt law, but it is not the only improvement that you could see this year. With a survivor from May's deadly Paramus school bus crash at his side, New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy signed legislation this weekend requiring shoulder strap seat belts on buses. All school buses manufactured starting 180 days from now must be equipped with three point safety belts for all occupants. The law does not require school districts or private bus companies to retrofit buses with shoulder straps, and due to the cost, few districts will add them voluntarily. But bus safety experts say don't despair. Be School bus uh, seats are designed in such a way to compartmentalize the children. Jim Raffley is the chief risk officer at the McGuff School Bus Company in Deptford, New Jersey, which services about a dozen school districts. He says lap belts, which are required by law, in combination with padding on the front and back of seats that are purposely spaced 22 inches apart, offer a high degree of protection in case of an accident. So it really provides a cocoon of safety in the event there's a frontal or rear collision and possibly a side collision. Perhaps the most recent safety equipment upgrade you will see this school year is a new Abigail camera sensor system. It allows the driver to actually physically see a very dangerous zone typically in school bus safety. Named for a two-year-old run over by a bus in 2003, New Jersey started requiring Abigail systems in school buses last year. The new Abigail systems allow bus drivers to see what's happening in front and behind school buses. But whether we're talking seat belts or new camera systems, a lot of these new safety measures, it starts with bus driver training. The best accident is always the one that never happens. And so McGuff tells us that they actually do training sessions with their drivers on a weekly basis, and they encourage school districts as you begin the new school year to do safety checks as well on the buses with students. Live in Deford Township, Cleve Ryan, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Cleve, thank you.